Hey, what's up, BoobTube? So, all right. I've uh, seen a couple uh, questions on forums about people uh, wanting to know how to drop in some uh, ERF 2030 pluses. I did this some time ago. Uh, I'm going to be straight. It was before I, you know, entirely knew what I was doing. I mean, I had a gist of it, but I didn't fully understand, you know, how a, uh, a broadband, you know, a solid state amplifier works. I'm very familiar with uh, valve amps, but uh, solid state, specifically the broadband or broadband transformers, um, I wasn't too sure about it, but now I've uh, figured it out. And uh, so, yeah, this is a 2970N2. Um, I dropped in ERF 2030 pluses and I tuned for them, right? Uh, I can't remember exactly what the value is. I think it's about five or a thousand puff on the output transformers. It's a surface mount capacitor that sits in the middle of these things. I removed that and these are 500 puff uh, micas, uh, silver, silver dip micas on the output transformers. 500 puff, okay? And then I can't remember because I've changed it so many times what the wraps were stock, but I ended up with one turn in the middle and two turns on the outside okay this is how uh how they have it wired i know on a different or like a texas star dave made style the wires come out the other side of it and depending on the orientation you know but this is how ranger uh, uh wired them up right so output transformers wires stay the same 500 puff remove the thousand puff and uh two wraps on the input transformers okay and um that basically basically tuned out the ERF erf 2030s for this uh 2970 into amp section now something else that i learned i don't know if you guys have noticed this but there's something just slightly different besides the fits all right the feedback board's gone the feedback circuit is still there but the board is gone right that's this thing i don't know what it is i don't know why i I haven't fully understood it. I haven't fully figured out why yet. I'm still learning. I'm not an engineer, but I've, uh, you know, come to uh, learn a few things. All right. And by removing this board, it removed a lot of the harmonics and spurious emissions. Now, I, the resistors are the same. That's what was on this board here. But it had a surface mount uh, capacitor. And I changed that with um, 104s. Uh, a little bit of higher KV rating than what was there. But, uh, so this, the resistors are the same, but I just changed out the 104s on the feedback circuit. And that's about it. And, uh, it's going now. So, on AM... Alright, you want about a 50 watt carrier at the most. 40, 50 watts, right? Got the uh, mic game turned up. More on AM. All right. Oh, yo. 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 So she's working, right? Go to sideband. Oh, amp draw. Oh, so about 35 amps, and uh, put it back to AM. Set the carrier back to 50. All right, so here's the spectrum analyzer. Okay, I'm going to show you exactly how I have it set up. No games, all right? Reference level zero. I got a uh, 20 dBs of attenuation. And uh, we're at zero to 100 megahertz on the scope or a spectrum analyzer. Zero to 100 is the span, right? So there's the center, right? 
just one, two, that kind of pop up little things. But it's so low that it'll never even be heard. And when I first ran this radio stock, it was everywhere, man. It was horrible. A big old splatter box. And I really do think that from what I've gathered is, is removing these boards takes away a lot of those harmonics. All right. So this is AM. 40 watt carrier. I'm going to modulate. Oh, oh, see, it's not bad, especially for a MOSFET radio, man. Some of these things are horrible, you know. So I'll go to sideband. All right. Oh, oh, PEP. Oh, so about 300. Oh, about 35 uh, amps. Oh, oh, so the spike right here got just a, a tad bit bigger, but it's still so low that nobody will even hurt, hear it. It'll never even be detected by anybody. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, those are my findings for the 2970 N2 with ERF 2030 MOSFETs. You're welcome.